Well, this Consumer Reports study tested uh, water, drinking water samples from 120 locations across the country for things like arsenic, lead, and PFAS chemicals. And of the samples in Washington state, the one from Issaquah showed high levels of um, PFAS compared to the other cities that were tested. Now, the sample taken in Issaquah showed PFAS levels at 59 parts per trillion, while other parts of the state that were sampled were all below 10 parts per trillion. PFAS is used in things like nonstick pans and waterproof clothing. And according to the CDC, studies show high levels of PFAS may cause increased cholesterol levels and increased risk for certain kinds of cancer, as, among, as well as some other things. Now, the city of Issaquah told King 5 that it uses a filtration system to address PFAS detected in some wells. In a statement, they said in part, quote, Issaquah meets all standards set for safe drinking water. We have reached out to Consumer Reports to inquire where in Issaquah their test was performed. We are consistently testing to ensure our water quality. The State Department of Health says the most important thing here is transparency. It's really important to know where your water comes from and um, ask questions about what that quality is. All those systems that are public water systems serving 15 or more connections are required to tell their customers what's in their water at least once a year and certainly when any contaminant is identified. And that is something the city of Issaquah does. They do give out a, a yearly report about water quality, but also right now there's no federal regulation over the level of PFAS in drinking water, but there are lawmakers that have introduced a bill that would require the EPA to set one. Live in Issaquah, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.